Hi everyone, this is me once again, Teacher Christy from Davao City National High School. Today, we will discuss the other method of solving quadratic equation, and that is solving quadratic equations by completing the square. This method involves the transformation of this quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, into this form. Quantity x minus h squared is equal to k, where k is greater than or equal to zero. There are steps to solve quadratic equation by completing the square. Let's have this example. Solve the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0 by completing the square. Or let's find the roots of this equation. First, divide both sides of the equation by a. And our a for this example is 2 and then simplify. 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0. Divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. And 0 divided by 2 is 0. The simplest form of 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0 is x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. Second step, write the equation such that the terms with variables are on the left side of the equation and the constant term is on the right side. How? From the equation that we made from first step, x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. This constant term will be transferred to this side, and the terms with variables will be remained on the left side. We will use additive inverse. x squared plus 4x minus 5 plus 5 equals 0 plus 5. So we can cancel this, and it becomes x squared plus 4x equals 5. As you observe, the terms with variables are on the left side and the constant term is on the right side. Third step, add the square of one half of the coefficient of x on both sides of the resulting equation. The left side of the equation becomes a perfect square trinomial. Let's have this equation ax squared plus bx equals c. We are going to make a space here on both sides because we are going to create another constant term. ax squared plus bx, how? We will get, we will add the square of one half of the coefficient of x. And the coefficient of x is b, b over 2 and then square. What we did here is also do on the right side. Let's try the equation that we made from the second step. x squared plus 4x equals 5. Put a space on both sides because we are going to create another constant term. So, square of 1 half of the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is 4. 1 half of 4. So, 4 over 2 and then square. What you did here is also do on the right side. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then square, we got 4. 4 divided by 2, and then square, we got 4 on the right side. And then simplify. We have x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 9. As you observe, the left side of the equation is a perfect square trinomial. Fourth step. Express the perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial. From the equation that we made in step 3, x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 9, the left side of the equation, we are going to transform this into square of binomial. How? Find the factors of this perfect square trinomial. The quantity 
x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 2 are the factors of x squared plus 4x plus 4. Since they are the same, we will rewrite this into a square of binomial. The fifth step is solve the resulting quadratic equation by extracting square root. From this square of binomial, we can now use extracting square root. Cancel the 2 and the radical sign and it gives us x plus 2 equals positive negative 3. From this equation, we can now find the value of x. Solve the resulting linear equations. x plus 2 equals positive negative 3. x plus 2 is equal to 3. And the other side, x plus 2 is equal to negative 3. Use additive inverse. x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 3 minus 2. So cancel this. Cancel this also. So x is equal to 1 on the left side on the right side we have x is equal to negative 5 the roots are x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 5 let's check the solutions or roots obtained against the original equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0 for x is equal to 1 substitute 1 to x please observe we got 0 equals 0. For x is equal to negative 5, let's do the same. Substitute negative 5 to x. We got 0 is equal to 0. Both values of x satisfy the given equation. So the equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0 is true when x is equal to 1 or when x is equal to negative 5. The equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0 has two solutions. x is equal to 1 or x is equal to negative 5. Try this. Find the solutions of the equation x squared plus 3x minus 18 equals 0 by completing the square. Take a picture and send it to me in the messenger. Thank you.